the end of the month means that it is time for monthly favourites and these are all the products that I've been loving at the end of September. I know we say this every month but it has just gone by so quickly. I feel like I haven't even managed to do half the things that I was planning on doing during September and it's October pretty much next week and it's my birthday in October, then three days later it's my boyfriend's birthday, so I'm going to be really quite busy, and then we're nearing Christmas, which is very exciting, but I have got a bunch of products here that I'm really, really loving that I wanted to talk to you about, so I'm just going to get started because there are quite a few. The first category is nails, and I've got quite a few nail polishes that I've been enjoying this month. I always enjoy nail polish, let's face it, but this month has been a particularly good nail polish month. The first one is my go-to top coat which I repurchased I was using a couple of different things but I decided that nothing performs as well as this so I repurchased and this is the Sally Hansen insta dry fast dry base coat which looks like this really really the best base the best base coat I've ever ever used it makes your nail polish last for ages it kind of almost has like a matte finish that I think lets the nail polish you apply on top of it grip better and it just works amazingly I always buy this from fragrance direct because it's just much cheaper than buying it in boots but fantastic and <clears throat> definitely a product that you should invest in if you do like to paint your nails a lot and you want your nail polish to stay on the next nail polish is by OPI and this one is a really nice fun summery colour and it's not that summery now but I have been really liking it and it's called Elephantastic Pink and it's just a kind of very very bright almost fluorescent pink shade very very pretty um, this did chip a little bit but it wasn't this nail polish I was using a different base coat and that was causing the chipping but really lovely and I love the packaging of OPI nail polish then I've got, um, I'll do the kind of pinks first because I've got quite a few pinks. These were all things I bought from Fragrance Direct actually. And this is a Revlon nail polish in Jelly, which looks like this. Again, just a nice bright kind of summery colour. Not too in your face, but just a nice kind of pretty colour. And then this Essie polish, which is called We're In It Together, which is really unusual actually. It's a very kind of baby pink, but it's quite opaque on the nails and it's got little fluorescent blue parts, little blue glitter particles in it. Very difficult to kind of see even on the nail but it's very very pretty. And then I've got two Sally Hansen nail polishes which I bought from the pound shop because they are the best place to buy Sally Hansen nail polishes. And these are two kind of taupey more season appropriate colours. The first one is called Iron and it's just a kind of nice grey colour, sort of like Essie's Saint-Tropez but not as nice. And then this one is a fantastic toe colour and this is um, Bandage. Is it Bandage? Yeah. This one's called Bandage. Very, very pretty. It looks like a kind of nothing colour but on your toes it's a great, great pedicure colour because sometimes I don't like to have a... Um, a really bright colour on my toes and then I just want something that kind of makes it them look polished and pretty but not too much and some colours can kind of make your feet look dead like the one I'm wearing at the moment it's an OPI one and I really don't like it but that Sally Hansen one is fantastic and just kind of gives you the right amount of coverage but it still looks groomed and it doesn't look like you've got dead person feet. Um, then a couple of makeup-y items. I haven't got tons because there were more things I discovered towards the end of the month and I didn't want to put them in the video if I hadn't been using them for long enough. The first one is a lipstick and this is by Lily Lolo and it's called Pink, Passion Pink, sorry. And this is the colour, it's an absolutely stunning kind of raspberry colour. It's not as raspberry when you put it on, I'll swatch it here for you. It's kind of more um, pinky then a bright, bright raspberry, but a very, very lovely colour, great for kind of autumn when you don't want to be wearing a really strong lip, but you do want something that's a bit statementy, and it's a really nice formula, and I am looking forward to trying some more of these lipsticks. And then eyeshadow, and this is sadly broken, but it's a really lovely colour, and it's a very good dupe for Max All the Glitters. And this is by The Body Shop, and it's the shade um, Melt My Heart. And this is what it looks like. Just a very kind of pretty champagne-y, all it glitters type of colour. Really, really lovely. And definitely something that um, I would repurchase. It's just very, very pretty and kind of champagne-y, goldy colour. That one right there. Just lovely and very smooth. It's got a really nice texture. And I haven't ever bought any Body Shop eyeshadows before, but I will be looking into them because this is really nice. 
Then, um, in terms of skincare, I have got a really nice moisturiser that I've been using. I've got a full review of this on my blog that I did a couple of days ago, so I'm going to put that in the down bar. But this is the Elemis Fresh Skin Dreamy Sleep Nighttime Moisturiser. And their fresh skin range is targeted at kind of um, <clears throat> women in their 20s. So if you need a little bit more coverage, uh, not coverage, if you need a little bit more from your skincare, but you still don't need like an anti-aging night cream, the, this range is kind of made for that very very lovely range um, they smell gorgeous they've got kind of like a really zesty herbal scent and I like the fact that they come in like little pumps I think it's just a little bit different than your average pot of cream but I really like this and um, they're not too expensive considering like how nice the ingredients of them are so I really like that then body care I have got a couple of products here the first one is this body butter by raw skincare and this is a website that do kind of loads of organic skincare I'll put their link in the down bar but this is their repair and revive body butter and it's 100% natural and it has got lavender in it and loads of lovely things like that um, apricot kernel oil coconut oil rosehip oil lavender oil just loads of lovely things and it's just a kind of thick slightly whipped textured body butter but it smells beautiful it smells really lavender if you don't like lavender you definitely won't like this I love the scent of lavender and it's got a lovely kind of whipped texture and um, I've been kind of keeping it by my bed and applying it kind of before I go to bed it's really nice and then I've got two hair care products and I have been really enjoying wearing my hair curly again this month which I haven't been for a long time because it was kind of looking a little bit weird I've been kind of rediscovering it and enjoying it again and I've been using the TG Catwalk Curlesque um, Strong Mousse which looks like this this is really really nice I'm not wearing it in my hair today I've got something else in my hair but this is a very 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 good mousse definitely will repurchase this when I'm done with it um, it's got a nice hold it smells nice and it's just a great product and then the next one is probably one of my all-time favorite hair products and this is the TG Catwalks um, salt spray and I love salt sprays for my hair in general but this is what the bottle looks like and I've got this in my hair now I kind of put a bit when it was dry just to kind of give it a bit more body but it's just really really great it smells gorgeous it smells kind of very vanilla -y and fruity but not in an off-putting way because I don't like really sweet scents but it just makes your hair look so so good and full and kind of dries it out a little bit but my hair needs that and I just feel like it's a just beautiful beautiful product and I'm definitely 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 gonna repurchase this this has been my star product of the month and then my um, last body product is a fake tan and this has been the month of fake tanning I have just so gotten into wearing fake tan because I've decided that it just makes me look so much better I put some on last night I'm testing the Vita Liberate two to three week tan so that's what I've got now I've only got one coat of it because I would just wanted to see kind of what it was like that way but I've just been loving fake tan every week um, and it they most of them last well and I just love it, I love how it makes me feel, I love how it makes me look and it just really kind of makes me look healthier and brings me back to life because my skin is a bit of a weird turn, I'm not one of those that's got those kind of lovely naturally pale complexions, I'm not naturally pale, I just go pale due to the lack of sunlight. So I need to kind of top it up. And this is the Lauren's Way Self Tanning Bronzing Lotion. And funnily enough, I just got a text from my friend um, who I recommended this to saying that she'd had some and that it's amazing. And they are, all the Lauren's Way fake tans are great. I've done a full review of them, so I'll link that in the down bar. But this is the one that I discovered this month, the lotion, and it's gorgeous. They just give you a really deep, beautiful tan, easy to apply, fade nicely, long lasting, and just, I can't really fault them. Great price points. I can't fault the Lauren's Way tanning products. I think they're fantastic. And then last but not least, I've got a candle that I have been loving. And I love all the Kringle candle candles. I actually think I prefer them to Yankee candles. And this is in Peppermint Kiss. And I know it kind of looks a little bit Christmassy, but the scent of this is just gorgeous. It smells like it smells like a kind of peppermint sweet, a peppermint cream sweet that I used to eat when I was a kid and I can't remember what they were called, they were kind of like little swirls and they were just lovely and this is what this smells like, really fragrant, I had it burning in the living room and I was upstairs doing some work and then I came downstairs and I was just kind of walking down the stairs and we've got a lot of stairs and you could smell it everywhere, it was just beautiful and amazing and I love it and I definitely definitely recommend this it's kind of a nice transition candle as well if you don't want something that's too um kind of cinnamony and wintry but you don't want something that's really light and floral and summery 
And then in terms of kind of little silly other um, favourites, one of my favourites this month has been Rush. That has been my go-to film this month, go-to. I've only seen it once because it's at the cinema. I don't know what I'm talking about. But my favourite film of the month. Um, it's basically about the Formula One race driver James Hunt and Nicky Lauda. I'm not a massive Formula One fan, but I do kind of have a slight interest purely because my boyfriend watches it every single weekend for hours and hours if we're at home. And... Um, I do kind of, I am a bit of a Lewis Hamilton fan, so I don't kind of care about the driving part of it as such, but I do kind of like Formula One, and James Hunt was kind of such a legend that it was a really, really, really interesting film to watch, beautifully directed, the acting's amazing, the guy who plays Nicky Lauda is great, um, Chris Hemsworth, there are no words for Chris Hemsworth's beauty in this, he's just like godlike you know you think he's hot in Thor watch him in this he's even hotter and I'm in love with him and I'm going to marry him I like him so much that I <laughs> I posted on my sister's Facebook wall I just kind of put you are hereby invited to the wedding of Avia and Chris Hemsworth that will be held tonight in Never Neverland and then my one of my best friends just sort of put yeah I bet it is and knowing you you've already picked out your wedding dress and I just put yep and Vera Wang's made that as happens in Neverland but I am very, 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 very much in love with Chris Hemsworth. Don't tell my boyfriend. Um, but yeah, fantastic film. Like, And if you thought that it was just a car film and that you won't be interested in it, go and watch it because you will really enjoy it. It's a really, really nicely made film. Um, and YouTubers that I've been loving this month. I have been absolutely loving, I can't remember her full username. I think it's Lisa or Lisa Para oh my god I've totally blanked out what your username is hence I'm going to put a little annotation that's going to be going along here and another one that I've been loving is also I think her username is Kez Punky or something like that I might be saying it totally wrong I can never remember anyone's usernames if they're kind of slightly different but I will put an annotation for her username here as well and both their links in the down bar because I've been really enjoying their videos this um, past month and that is it those have been my favorites this month um, I hope I've not missed anything out I probably have this is why I need to make notes of my favorites which I normally do but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've had any favorites this month then definitely definitely let me know what your favourites have been and I did do a kind of random things I'm loving as well in my um, couple of videos back so I'll link that in the down bar as well if you want to see just a random collection of favourites and I will see you all in my next video and the next time I see you will be October. <laughs>